Have you ever wondered how to create personalized print-on-demand products that allow your customers to customize the name or even the image on the product? I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do it in today's video. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new here, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content like this. Let's jump in. Over the last couple of years, we have seen a trend of personalized products becoming available with print on demand and not just print on demand, but e-commerce in general. Personalization and allowing your customers to put their own personal touch on a product as they're ordering it has just been a huge trend and something that's only growing. Most print on demands don't offer this kind of option and so it's made it hard for smaller sellers like us to add these features into our store and add these options to our products for our customers to be able to personalize them. Today I wanna to show you how you can do this with Gelato Print On Demand. Their software makes it super easy and they even have some advanced options you can use with personalization that really just take it to that next level. And this is gonna allow you to create personalized print on demand products inside your Shopify store that will allow your customers to personalize it with just a few clicks. You've probably seen a ton of different products come across your social media feed in all different niches that allow all kinds of different personalization. Here's one example of that. This is a mug that allows the customer to not only personalize the type of dinosaur that's on the mug, but also the name of maybe their child or someone they wanna buy this for. Now, as you see on this website here, they've got it set up in a bunch of different products. So like these are individual products. And if we click on one, it's gonna allow us to enter in whatever name we wanna put on the mug before we order it. What I wanna show you today inside Gelato is how you can create something like this, but you can actually combine all of these dinosaurs together into one product which will allow your customer to not only put in the name they want, but also select the type of dinosaur they want. Inside Gelato, we're gonna start by clicking on stores. We're gonna see our store there, as long as you have your store connected, and we're gonna click add product. We're gonna to wanna to find the product that we want to offer in our store. Now, I'm actually gonna do this on a t-shirt. Now, you could of course do it on a mug, but I wanna show you how we could replicate something like this really on any product, but let's go ahead and do it with a t-shirt. So I'm gonna go and go over to kids and baby clothing. Let's go over to t-shirts and let's find like a kid's t-shirt. We probably just go with this first one here because we've got this Bella and Canvas t-shirt, premium kids crew neck t-shirt, let's click on that. And that's gonna take us over into the Gelato product customizer. And we have so many options here. There's some really cool things inside Gelato. But we're mainly gonna be focusing on that personalization. Now, the first thing I'm gonna need if I'm gonna create something like this with these dinosaur graphics is I'm, I'm gonna need some dinosaur graphics. So what I did is I actually went out to Etsy and I searched dinosaur graphics. What you're gonna see here is you're gonna see all these different bundles of graphics that you can purchase and you could use on something like this as long as you add some additional elements with them. The only thing you usually can't do is just put the dinosaur on a product and just sell it as is. You have to add a name or some text. So I found this one right here for only $1.79, which actually has 25 dinosaurs in it. I went ahead and bought this and downloaded all these dinosaur graphics. Just a side note to make sure you're always reading the terms and conditions on these graphic products to make sure you can use them on your own merchandise and make sure you follow the conditions and the rules. Once we're ready to start adding some of those dinosaurs onto the product, there's a couple ways we can do it. We can click add new up here, we can click on add image, and then we can upload images from our computer. We can also go down here on the left and click on collections, and we can actually create a collection of all of the images that we wanna add into this personalized product. I've created this folder of dinosaurs and I've uploaded it here to the Gelato system. Now after you've uploaded all the images you wanna use, you're gonna see them here in your library, and I'm gonna start by just clicking on one of the dinosaurs here and it's gonna add it onto my t-shirt. Now I can resize it, kind of get it where I want it. And what I wanna do next is click these three dots up here and select personalization and then select allow personalization. Now if I select the personalization tab up here at the right, you're gonna see my dinosaur there is included in the personalization. Next, I'm gonna add another dinosaur. So I'm gonna hit plus, it's gonna add it onto my t-shirt. And again, I'm gonna kind of size it up where I want it. And then I'm gonna click on those three dots, click personalization, allow personalization. I'm gonna do this one more time to get another dinosaur added. I'll be right back. Before we get too far into the tutorial, I wanna make sure that you know that you can try out Gelato completely free using the link down in the description or just going over to shirtschool.com slash gelato. 
They've also given us a really cool discount code where you can get 60% off your first order with Gelato by just using the discount code CARRY. Just put in all caps, K-E-R-R-Y, and you can get 60% off your first order. Check it out with the link in the description. Next, I wanna add some text to allow my customer to put in their child's name. So I'm gonna click on add new, I'm gonna click on add text, and I'm just gonna type in child's name. Once I've got that typed out there, I'm gonna move it down to where I want it. So I'm just gonna move it right down here below the dinosaur right there. And I also want this to be maybe a funner font, right? I don't want just like this bland font. Now, if you look over here inside Gelato, I've got the Gelato Plus plan, which just has like a ton of fonts in here. I wanna find one that fits with this kind of dinosaur theme. I'm gonna click on this Jody one, and that kind of has more of that dinosaur, dinosaur prehistoric feel, so I'm gonna go with that. Next, I'm gonna click on that personalization option, and I'm gonna allow personalization so that the customer can put in their child's name. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on this text nine box, which is the child's name, and I'm actually gonna change it to enter child's name. That's gonna tell our customer that that's the spot where they wanna put in their child's name. And then what I could do here in the text uh, area is I can actually change this to like a sample name. So maybe we do Steven right there just so they can kind of see what it looks like. Next, we don't want these dinosaurs just sitting there on top of each other. So we need to make an option for them to choose the dinosaur they want on the t-shirt. This is gonna allow them to not only put in their kid's name, but then they can select what kind of dinosaur represents their child. So under the personalization option, we're gonna click on create new condition. Then right here, we're gonna, we're gonna title this select dino type. We'll type that in there, boom. And we can either make this a button, a drop down, or a thumbnail. I'm gonna make it a drop down. Then I'm gonna go under options. Now, don't judge me on these dinosaur types. I'm just gonna type some in. I'm not even trying to match them up to the right dinosaur, so don't judge me. But I'm gonna put in T-Rex for the first one. I'm gonna put in a Stegosaurus, which I'm not never gonna spell right. Stegosaurus for the second one. I'm gonna hit add option, and I'm gonna add in Triceratops, again, Definitely not spelling it right, but we're just gonna type it in there. Boom, so now we've got three options in there. What we wanna do next is we wanna click on associated elements. So the first one we've got selected here is T-Rex. I'm gonna select this red guy that kinda looks like a T-Rex. Then I'm gonna select a different option, Stegosaurus. We'll go with this blue guy, and then we're gonna go to Triceratops, and we will go with the purple guy. All right, so this is pretty cool, check this out. So now that we've got those lined up, what we've got here is we've got our child's name they can enter, and then we've got the dinosaur type and they can select from all three of these types of dinosaurs. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Once I've got everything created here with the personalization inside Gelato, I'm gonna click on continue to mock-ups. You see Gelato has a lot of really cool mock-ups here. You can see all different types of children we could select, or we could even just select a more standard mock-up of the t-shirt. I'm gonna go to continue to details next. Here we can title it, so we can do, you know, child, dino T. We might wanna spice that up a little bit, but that's what I'm gonna go with for now. We have all these different options here that we can add on the product page. Once we're ready, we can hit continue to prices to set our pricing on these. Now it's gonna be as simple as just setting whatever pricing you want in your store. We could set these to like $19.99 if we want or higher, whatever you wanna set it as. It will show you what your profit is over here on the right. And then we just hit publish to send it over to our store. And just like that, we've created this Dino T. You can see it's inside my little test Shopify store. I'm gonna click on this little eyeball so we can actually view it over on the Shopify store. And here it is. Now all our customers need to do to personalize this is this is what it's actually gonna look like in your store. We can click on the size we want. So let's say we want a large and then we'll click on personalized design. It's gonna bring up this little window that's gonna allow your customers to put in what they want. So I might put in my, my son's name. I'll put in Calvin right there. Maybe I want all caps like that. And then I can actually choose what dinosaur represents him. It's definitely gonna be the T-Rex for Calvin. And when I'm ready, I'm gonna click on add to cart. That's gonna add it into my cart and boom, I've got a size large customized dino T for my child. So I'm sure your mind is racing with the infinite possibilities that you could create with this amazing tool. But let me quickly tell you a little bit more about Gelato. First of all, Gelato is completely free to use. If you want to use it completely free, you can absolutely do that. And there is some personalization options available with their free plan. 
But where you really get a ton of value, especially if you wanna do the personalization option, is with their Gelato Plus option, which is gonna be $14.99 per month or $139 if you pay yearly, you get a little bit of a discount. So you get 30% off of all their standard shipping, you get premium mockups, you get hundreds of free graphics, which is really cool. They've linked up with some graphics websites so you can access huge libraries of graphics, millions of stock images. I love the fonts. And then there's that advanced personalization tool. So you get a ton of really cool features and options with the Gelato Plus option. So if you wanna try out Gelato, if you wanna see what they're all about, I want you to make sure you use that link in the description and use the discount code CARRY to get 60% off your first order. This is a no-brainer, definitely check it out with the link in the description. We'll see you guys soon.